configure extended IPv4 access control list as scenario 2. Addressing table. Router RT1. This router two interfaces. Two interfaces. PC1, PC2, PC3. The PCs and servers. Servers on, on the cloud, on Internet cloud. In this scenario, specific devices on the LAN are allowed to various services on servers located on the Internet. Configure a named extended access control list. Configure one named access control list to implement the following policy. Block HTTP and HTTPS access from PC1 to Server 1 and Server 2. The servers are inside cloud and you only know their IP addresses. Block FTP access from PC2 to Server 1 and Server 2. Block ICMP access from PC3 to Server 1 and Server 2. For a scoring purposes, you must configure the statements in the order specified in the following steps. Then IPC1 access to HTTP and HTTPS services on Server 1 and Server 2. Create a named extended IP access list on router RT1, which will deny PC1 access to the HTTP and HTTPS services of Server 1 and Server 2. Four access control statements are required. What is the command to begin the configuration of an extended access list with the name ACL? Okay, and go to RT1, click here, on command line interface, enter, enable, configure terminal, and the answer is IP access list extended ACL, where ACL is the name of the access list. Okay, this is the answer to this question. Okay, so I use this name, ACL. You can choose uh, any name, but for a scoring, you need to specify ACL case sensitive. Enter. Now you can see you are on extended named access list configuration mode. Begin the access control list configuration with a statement that denies access from PC1 to the server 1 only for HTTP port 80. Refer to the addressing table for the IP address of PC1 and Server 1. Okay, use this line. Deny TCP. The source is host 172.31.1.101 in PC1. And the destination host 64101, 255, 254 equal AD. Okay, just verify the IP address of PC1 is this 172.31.1.1 one of 1. And the address of the server 1 is 64101, 255, 254. Okay, so deny. TCP protocol because HTTP uses TCP on layer 4. 
The source is PC1, host and the IP address of PC1. The destination is server1, host and the IP address of server1. And the port is equal to 80, the port of HTTP. Enter. Next, enter the, the statement that denies access from PC1 to server1. Only for HTTPS, port 443. Up a row to repeat the previous command and only modify the port. The same protocol, the same source, the same destination, but the port is for HTTPS. 443, enter. Enter the statement that denies access from PC1 to server 2, only for HTTP. Okay, okay, deny, but the same protocol, the same source, PC1, but the destination is different. The destination is server 2. So the IP address of server 2 is 64.103.255.254 64.103.255.254 port 80 Up a row to repeat the previous command The same protocol, the same source But modify the destination address 64.103.255.254 equal to 80 for HTTP okay from PC1 to server 2 HTTP enter okay and enter the statement that denies access from PC1 to server 2 only for HTTPS uh, repeat the previous command up a row Deny same protocol, same source, same destination. 103 is server 2, but modify the port 443 is the HTTPS port. Enter. Okay. Then I PC2 to access FTP services on server 1 and server 2. Refer the addressing table. Enter the statement that denies access from PC2 to server 1 only for FTP. Port 21 only. Okay, you know FTP uses port 20 and 21. In this case, only deny port 21. Okay, deny TCP protocol. The source should be PC2. PC2 IP address is 172.31.1.102. Okay, and 172.31.1.102. Server 1 IP address 64.101.285.254 and FTP port 21. Okay, deny. TCP host 172.31.1.102 Okay, 102 uh, PC2 and server 1, the destination space host 64.101.255.254 port 21 Okay, um, PC2 server 1 FTP port. Enter. Uh, PC2 to server 2 for FTP. Deny PC2 server 2 FTP. Repeat the previous command. PC2 server 2 IP address is 64103. The same port FTP port. Okay, PC2, server 2, 
FTP port. Enter. Then I PC3 to pin server 1 and server 2. Okay. Enter the statement that denies ICMP access from PC3 to server 1. Okay, use this. Okay. Deny ICMP protocol. The source is PC3 172311103. And host server 1 Okay, then I ICMP protocol. Okay, for ping. Okay, and the source is uh, PC3. Go to addressing table, PC3 172311103. The destination server 1. 64101-285-284 Okay, very nice Is this Enter PC3 to server 2 Then nice ICMP access From PC3 to server 2 Repeat the previous command ICMP protocol Then I PC3 Now change the IP address of the destination Remember, server 2 is 103. Enter. Permit all other IP traffic. By default, an access list denies all traffic that does not match any rule in the list. Enter the command that permits all traffic that does not match any of the configured access list statements. Okay, at the end, there is an implicit deny IP any, any. So you need to permit any other traffic using permit IP from any source to any destination. Okay. Enter. Verify the access list configuration before applying it to an interface before any access list is applied. The configuration needs to be verified to make sure that there are no typographical errors and that the statements are in the correct order. To view the current configuration of the access list, use either show access list or the show running config command. Okay, you can use uh, and and show access dash list. You can see this and should be the same. The name of the extended access list is ACL extended ACL nine access control entries. Now you can see port 80 is the same of triple W and port 21 is the same of FTP. <coughs> or you can use this command show running config pipe begin access dash list. You can see this. Space very nice and the difference between the output of the show access list command and the output of the show running command is the show access list command includes the sequence numbers assigned to the configuration statements. These sequence numbers enable the editing, deleting, and inserting of single lines with the access list configuration. Sequence numbers also define the processing order of individual access control statements, starting with the lowest sequence number. Now you can see the difference. Show access list has the sequence numbers 10, 20, 30, 40, or you can delete the access control entries using the sequence number. 
or add new lines or new access control entries. For example, between 3D and 4D, you can add the sequence number 3D5 with a new access control entry. Okay, the show running output does not have the sequence numbers. Apply and verify the access control list. The traffic to be filtered is coming from 172.31.196.27 network. Okay, this is the source. This, this network, this is the source. And the destination is the cloud. The destination is on the internet. Appropriate access control list placement depends on the relationship of the traffic with respect to RT1. In general, extended access lists should be placed on the interface closest to the source of the traffic. This is the source. This is the source, and this is the um, this is the destination. Okay, and the traffic is this. Okay, and extended access list should be placed close to the source. Okay, so should be placed on this interface, on this interface, close to the source. and should be on gigabit interface incoming traffic gigabit interface incoming traffic apply the access control list to the correct interface and in the correct direction in an actual operation network an untested access control list should never be applied to an active interface. This is not a good practice and can disrupt network operation. On which interface should be the name and access control list be applied and in which direction? Interface gigabit 00, zero incoming traffic. Interface gigabit 00, zero incoming traffic. Enter the configuration commands to apply the access control list to the interface. Go to the router RT1, configure terminal, interface gigabit 00, zero IP access dash group, the name of the access list, ACL, case sensitive, ACL, incoming traffic, enter, exit. Test access for each PC. Access the websites of Server 1 and Server 2 using the web browser of PC 1. Okay, and you know from PC 1 to websites of Server 1 and Server 2 should be denied. Denied to Server 1 to port 80 and use both the HTTP and HTTPS then I PC1 to server1 port 443 HTTPS okay go to PC1 open the web browser
Okay, uh, use this IP address, the IP address of server 1, 64, 101, 255, 254, go. Okay, request timeout. Now try with HTTPS. HTTPS and go. Request timeout. And this is very good. Use the show access list command to be which access list statement permitted or denied the traffic. The output of the show access list command displays the number of packets that match each statement since the last time the counters were cleared or the router rebooted. To clear the counters of an access list, use clear access list counters command. Okay, use show IP access list to verify. Go to the router. Show IP access list header. Okay, you can verify from PC1 to server1 using HTTP and from PC1 to server1 using HTTPS 12 matches. Okay. Access FTP of server 1 and server 2 using PC1. The username and password is Cisco. Remember, FTP is denied for PC2. You will use PC1 to access server 1 and server 2 using FTP. So it should be permitted. Go to PC1, close the web browser. Open the command prompt FTP and IP address of server 1 64 101 255 254 enter username Cisco password Cisco enter very good is permitted and suspected quit access uh, server 2 and the IP address is 64103 255 enter. Username Cisco, password Cisco. Very nice, quit. Okay, verify. Go to RT, RT1, repeat, show IP access list. Now you can see permit IP 22 matches because. PC1 is permitted to, to use FTP on server 1 and server 2. Very good. Being server 1 and server 2 from PC1. Remember that PC3 is denied to ping uh, server 1. PC3 is denied to ping server 2. Okay, and you will ping. Uh, from PC1 to server 1 and 2 should be permitted. Go to PC1, ping to server 1, 64, 101, 285, 284. Success. Ping to server 2, 64, 103. Success. We'll go to RT1. Show IP access list. Now you have uh, 30 matches. Previously it was 22. Repeat step 2A to C with PC2 and PC3. Okay. Uh, 2A, 2B, and 2C with using PC2 and PC3. 
Okay, for example, from PC2, try to access FTP. You know, PC2 is denied to access FTP on server 1. Go to PC2, command prompt, FTP, IP address of server 1, 64, 101, 285, 284, enter. Wait a moment. Okay, disconnecting from the server, enter, uh, timeout. Okay, this is very good because PC2 is denied to access server 1 using FTP. And from PC3, try to ping PC1. You know, should be deny it from PC3 command prompt ping to 64 101 285 254 enter destination host and reachable go to the router show IP access list now PC2 is denied to Access server 1 using FTP, 12 matches. PC3 is denied to ping server 1, 4 matches. Very good. Completion 100%. Thank you, thank you very much.